still remember the soft sensation of her hand from that time. There was no way I could forget. I was incapable of forgetting all of the time I spent with her. They're tainted. I stared closely at my hands. They were covered in mud. The skin was cracking underneath and spots of blood were oozing onto the surface. I would have been fine had I worn some work gloves, but I never once considered it. No, I knew I would be digging such a big hole, so using a shovel would have been the obvious choice. What am I doing? What in the world was I doing? I felt like I'd been asking myself that my entire life, except for the time I spent with her. The cold wind felt wonderful on my raw, sting stinging hands. Shall I return to the past once more? I'll remember everything, from the beginning to the end, so that I can move these hands again. Did I make any mistakes leading up to this day? This very spot? Was there nothing I could have said? Was there anything I could should have not said? What was it that I did for you? Let me remember, one thing at a time. I slowly closed my eyes. Some months ago. There were many people on the planet. The girl sitting across from me said that uh, 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 the girl sitting across from me said that cheerfully as she crossed her long legs from underneath her miniskirt. Her name was Lavinia F. Asai. Lavinia. She was a warrant officer like myself, and we seemed to be the same age. Perhaps that was why she was acting quite friendly with me, despite us having just met. They aren't finicky about regulations and they won't fault you for the most part if, the, if you cut loose when you're off the clock. She had an army brat feel to her, and her personality was refreshing. There's, there also aren't many officers, so a warrant officer is quite a position indeed. Hey, are you listening, warrant officer Haruna? I'm listening, warrant officer Asai. Didn't that tell you before? Lavi is fine. I don't like my surname all that much, so call me Warrant Officer Lavi. Isn't that weird to attach your rank to your first name? I don't mind if you'd like to drop the formalities, at least until I become your superior. Oh yeah, we're equals now. She gave me a teasing smile. But you know, Warrant Officer Haruna, don't you think you've been a little too aloof this whole time? Are you not pleased with your current mission? This female soldier and I were the only ones present in this transport helicopter which could carry 11 troops. Her shrill voice was harsh on my ears, perhaps due to how empty it was. Well, defending a research facility is probably a lackluster job for a warrant officer from the special forces. It's not that I'm particularly unsatisfied. According to others, I usually looked quite stoic and, was always, and always seemed displeased. Well, it wasn't a big deal for a soldier to be unsociable. It's work, so I'm not being picky. I'll go anywhere and do anything if I'm ordered. Hmm, well aren't you modest? Here I thought everyone in the elite unit was an arrogant bastard. I may have been in the special forces, but that doesn't really make me an elite. The work we performed was just different from other units. Besides, the unit is no more. I'm no different from you. Is that so? Yeah. It's been three months since the unified government had declared the war to be over. 
My unit was dissolved amidst the rapid disassembly and reorganization of land forces. Many of my former comrades transferred to new units and had gone into space. Several had been discharged and returned to their normal lives, and some transferred to the police force. It was exceedingly, exceedingly rare for someone to be transferred to another terrestrial unit like me. Oh, I can see it. Take a look. Over there. She spoke remarkably loudly and looked towards the window behind me. I turned to look, lured by her voice. Dang. As soon as I turned around, a tiny island floating, uh, floating alone from a light blue ocean entered my view. Is that like a tennis course? What the hell? It's like three mini islands attached to each other. And you have the, like a bridge up there at the bottom. Oh yeah. It's paradise. There was a rather solemn looking building standing on the island, concealed by a she sheer rock face, like some sort of mistake in design. That's it? Yes, your new post. Research facility number 703. There were only two on the planet. As we nonchalantly passed through the splendid doors to the building, I halted and set down my bag beside me. I heard I was assigned to a research facility's defense unit. Yes, like I said, this is your new post. Research facility number 703, or 703 probably. Cause that's what army army um, units or whatever they when they always speak about numbers they say they don't call out the entire number like in the hundreds or whatever it's always singular numbers like even if it's one thousand three 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 hundred thirty seven they always say one through three seven because I don't know why the army does that but that's what they do. She repeated those words I had heard only a moment ago. It's so beautiful. I took a better look around the entry hall. Well, this is certainly something. I bet it isn't quite how you pictured a research facility. Normally when I think research facility, I think drab concrete exterior with nothing but off-white lino uh, linoleum corridors inside, as far as the eye can see. But that would have been presumptuous as this place certainly didn't look anything like what I imagined a research facility would be. Well, you'll understand sooner or later. For now, I'll take you to your commanding officer. Ah, la vie! Miss Elika? What's wrong? You sound a bit frantic. That is because Mr. Kalios and Mr. Matsu Matsunaga are having a scuffle in the salon. What the salon? What what kind of research hall is this? Oh? Oh? What's wrong with that? Sergeant Kalios and Corporal Matsunaga are both young. There are times when uh, uh, adolescent blood just boils. But many people got injured trying to intervene. It'll make for some good training. Anyone who can't stop a fight must be getting rusty. But... There's more? It appeared to be a duel for your ownership. What? Ownership? Furthermore, the winner will receive an exclusive ticket to force themselves upon- What? Like, forced? What? Are we talking about rape here? What the hell is going on? Who issued those? It, it certainly turned really dark, didn't it? Who issued those tickets and where? So, should we go or leave them alone? Oh, she's already gone. How quick! Warrant Officer Levy disappeared like the wind before this Alicia girl could finish talking. How troubling. But Levy is such a beauty that is that it really is inevitable. Say, don't you think so? I won't deny that Warrant Officer Levy has a reasonably good appearance, but... Oh? She tilted her head slightly. 
By the way, who might you be? I was assigned to this post starting today. Ah, I heard. They said a cunning young man with dreadful eyes was coming. <laughs> Setting my eyes aside, what shall I, uh, what shall I do now that I've lost my guide? What shall you do, indeed? Actually, I have a question for you as well. May I? Sure. What is it? Just. Who are you? She's the maid. Yeah, I'm right. I would be the maid. Oh. Is there a noble living here or something? Impossible. There's nowhere there would be any nobles around now that people are emig uh, emigrating to space. If there were, they were, uh, they would be stuffed and the uh, they would be stuffed and placed in a museum. The girl who called herself a maid chuckled cheerfully. If speaking in terms of rarity, wouldn't a maid follow suit as well? In other words, you mean to have me mounted and stuffed? Don't put words in my mouth. Although that's exactly what I meant. Let's move away from that subject. <laughs> I couldn't help but feel this would-be maid was off in the head somehow. This is a government institution, even if only for a time, there's no way that they would place a maid at such an essential complex. You can't just suddenly appear and deny my existence. Ugh, my head is starting to hurt. Even if she looked at me with those troubled eyes, as if uh, I was just baffled as I was just as baffled as she was. Maybe I should explain what I do here. No, it's fine. That would just make my headache worse. Anyway, I would like to go see the person in charge here. Could you tell me the way? Ah, you mean Major Inaba. Inaba. In that case, why don't I show you the way? Levi probably will not return until she has beaten Mr. Callius and Mr. Matsunuga or Matsunaga half to death anyway. Half to death indeed. This sounds like a dangerous place. I like it. Lavi is the only dangerous one. There's no need to be on your guard. This is a peaceful place. A carefree free smile rose to her face. The moment I witnessed her smile, dripping with kindness. You're amazing, Ryu. What? What in the world was that sensation just now? For an instant, it felt like a current had just run through me. I was seeing stars. No, there was something else. I had surely caught a glim glimpse of something else in that instant. What in the world was it? Um. Oh, it's nothing. Please don't worry about it. I said that as I wiped the sweat up from my forehead. If you are feeling unwell, I could get you some medicine. It's really nothing. Please, just lead the way. Uh, understood. Then let's be off. Party of one, right this way. I slowly followed behind the maid as she started walking. Earlier, it seemed like... Like I had just remembered something important. There was no doubt it was an illusion, but why did I suddenly hallucinate? I shook my head. A building unsuited to be called a research facility, and a girl who calls herself a maid. I was probably just a little confused after encountering such a strange situation. After opening the door and stepping in, a lone man appeared before me. That man was seated sloppily in his chair and was gazing at me with an uninterested expression. Why are you with Alicia? warned Officer Haruna. The man, Major Inaba, went straight to the point. Regarding that, Levi suddenly had some urgent business to attend to. Well, urgent business usually is sudden. Oh, that's why it's called urgent, right? Oh, I see. Very quick-witted. <laughs> oh golly, it's not that quick. What was with this conversation? 
Are there some uh, something going on here that I should know about or probably not? And so you brought him here Alicia? Sorry for the trouble. Not at all. This was this much is but a, the simplest of tasks. I will do anything that does not leave me at a loss. Or perhaps I should say it was a good excuse to skip out on work. <laughs> I wasn't sure what to think of her after hearing that. I think we, we we should think that she's not very good at her job. Or or is lazy in a way that she wasn't want to do her job that well or that much. Well then, it is troublesome, but it is about time I get back to work. It could be that her, that her job is just extremely hard. Yeah, please take care of her. Huh. Her. So he mentioned someone in particular. Alicia smiled sweetly, bowed to the major, and left the room. When I saw her bow instead of salute, it became clear she wasn't military person uh, personnel. Maybe she really was a maid. What do you think of Alicia? Pretty easy on the eyes, right? Um, sure, I guess. His mouth loosened into a grin. I suppose so. You don't seem very interested. Not very at all. Not even a little. Well, it's not an unusual thing in the military. And these days, even God won't say you can't love another man. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> in reality, I had some interest in Alicia, but I wasn't captivated by her endowed figure. She... something felt out of place about her. Not that I had the slightest idea where that feeling came from. It's just first impression. Or sometimes you just get this feeling even though you you, 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 you don't, don't even know the person. You just see them for the first time. They haven't even said a single word and you're just like... You get this vibe off of this person and like... I gotta keep an eye on you. Try and pursue your interests when you can. Did... What? What kind of major is this? Did he really just say, oh, if you like a girl, go for it. Superior officers who peered into their subor subordinates' personal lives were the worst. Now then. Major oh, look at that. He suddenly got very serious. Major Inaba corrected his posture slightly and cleared his throat. <clears throat> I suppose I should say you did well to make it here. Although... It seems there was there has been some sudden inconveniences from our end. I appreciate your words, but aren't your subordinates a little too undisciplined? I am a superior who respects his subordinates' independence. Isn't it bad for the superior not to take responsibility? He shrugged his shoulders and showed a faint smile. The way his actions and expressions gave off a sarcastic feel had not changed at all from the past. If I recall... Hmm? If I recall, you were a first lieutenant seven years ago. I never thought you'd still be a major. Although I'm out of the academy, I'm not, e uh, I'm not even in my 30s yet. Making it to the rank of major isn't bad at all. No, I thought... Hmm? What? I thought you were more capable. Not only was there no point, uh, was there no point? That was something I should uh, I should say to someone who was, for for the time being, my superior. Oh, not something. Of course not. I swallowed my words. You have not changed much from how you were in the past. It's because I haven't gone through any hardships. There's nothing to age me. He let out a rattling laugh. Ho, 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 ho. I don't know how a rattling laugh sounds like. His face looked a little red, but it was unlikely he would drink in the afternoon. He was just thinking about Alicia. I've already received your assignment documents, so you can rest for the remainder of the day. You must be worn out from the long trip, switching straight from plane to helicopter. I still have not heard the details of my mission. The defense of this research facility, that is all. Understood. Oh, get a fancy ID card. Okay then, take these. Rio Aruna. He rummaged through his desk drawer and took out a thin manila envelope and a single card. 
This envelope contains assorted documents and a data disk with a rough map of the building. Also, this is your ID. Thank you. Finally, I have some valuable resources for consoling yourself on those lonely nights. Would you like to take them all? What? Is he giving us, like, video material? What? Okay, I don't even know. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm quite alright. <laughs> How boring. I took the envelope and ID and returned the guest ID I had received from La Vie earlier. I'll meet you at 0730. See, 0730. Not like 7 o'clock, no, 0730. Or 07, yeah. Okay, I, I guess they do say the 30 here. Because they don't say 0730. But they always, the, the first one, like the hour, they always say like 07, 09. I don't know. I'm not in the military, so I wouldn't know why or how and when, when they do it, when they don't do it. But yeah. And explain the details of your assignment then. This all seems rather sketchy. I have not even received a luggage inspection since I entered the building. It seemed far too insecure any way you looked at it. It's not like everyone uh, gets this type of treatment. Then why are you letting me through so easily? Yeah, I could be carrying a bomb. That should be obvious. Ryo Haruna, it's because you're special. Was it so obvious? I understood from his tone that he didn't intend to say any more. I do have a question for you. Is that okay? Of course, it's not a problem. There was no way I could refuse to speak to a superior. Ryo! His demeanor flipped like a switch and his eyes stared straight at me. Do you still remember what happened seven years ago? Uh-oh. What happened seven years ago? Uh-oh. Well, I'm guessing we're gonna find out in the next video. Holy crap. This seems like a... Um, he seems like he's being beat up by his father or something. Anyway, we'll find out in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more and I shall see you then. Peace.